If today you are seen, then it's another. That's why I feel like no other. This is Dave from the Shepherd School and today what we're going to do is we're going to make some beeswax votive candles. And we're using some beeswax that we've pulled out of our hives and so we don't have a lot of it. But uh, we got these little one ounce uh, ingots I guess of beeswax that came out of our hives. We also got this big one pound block. If you don't have beehives, you can always go to one of those hobby stores, Hobby Lobby or Michaels or whatever. And you can buy beeswax. It's jelly around a dollar an ounce. First, we've got an ingot or a, a voltive mold that we got from a bee supply place. It was just a you know a couple bucks, probably fifteen twenty dollars. And then we got a bunch of pre-cut wicks. Our ingot mold. You could tell that we melted it. And when you melt beeswax, you got to be real careful. This stuff is pretty flammable. And so you want to use a double boiler, you know, never leave it unattended, have a uh, fire extinguisher and stuff around. But we're going to use a Pyrex uh, measuring cup to melt ours and melt it in the microwave. Uh, now you need to use Pyrex and you need to be careful because this stuff in the microwave can get extremely hot. It'll get very hot and that's how we melted our ingot mold, our plastic uh, beeswax mold. So all we're going to do is we're going to melt the wax and uh, pour it in the voltage. So let's show you what we're going to do. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is put just a little dab of wax in each one for the wick to sit in. So it'll kind of glue it down to the bottom. Glued a little too good. There we go. And you need to work fast because it's already setting up. I'm going to put it right dab in the middle. Alright, so now we're going to melt the rest of it. Alright, so we melted some of the wax up and the candles are set in there. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to fill up a votive. And you don't want to pour it all the way up to the top because as the wax dries, it's going to leave a little hole, a little divot. You notice I've got some parchment paper because wax is really hard to clean up and I don't want the wife to beat me up for making a huge mess. So we're just going to melt some more of this. And basically we're just chopping the block up with a knife, kind of laying it down and pushing it. Let's melt some more. You see a couple of these didn't want to stand up so we used some little bobby clips to hold them in. That was the purpose of actually putting the wax down at the bottom the first time. This time instead of pouring it all we'll just do a little bit. Beeswax is some awesome stuff. They use it in you know food, the little wax lips that you get as a kid. That's made out of beeswax. Uh, things for 
you know, lip gloss and uh, skin salve, soaps, so for cosmetics. Birds, bees, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, use it for bullet lube if you reload. Archery, it's what uh, you put on your um, on your bowstrings. Uh, wood varnish, you know the Stradivarius uh, violins and stuff had beeswax in the wood varnish. So there's all sorts of neat stuff you can do with this. Candles is just one of them. Uh, the religious candles are made with beeswax. They don't soot up. As a matter of fact, the word votive comes from to vow, and the original in the Latin. Sticking to the stuff from the oven mitt. All right. <laughs> you can tell that I am no great candle maker, but I like this because it's a use of the stuff for my bees. Plus, these kind of candles don't sit up. They got a nice smell. I don't have to add any kind of flavorings or colors or anything. It's probably completely in the way there. Those votives there, and what I've got here is what a pound and another three ounces, so almost about 20 ounces of wax. So these aren't cheap. <laughs> so we'll let these cool. We're just going to let them cool, and as they do, they're going to have a little divot in the center here. And that's why we didn't fill it all the way up, because we'll add some more wax to bring it up to the top. So we're just going to let them cool naturally and slowly. And we're not going to put them in the fridge or anything. So we'll come back in a little bit and show you what happens when we top this off. And see how they're kind of divoting out a little bit. So we'll just add more. You don't want to overfill, because if it pours over the top, it's going to make it hard to get back out. But as it cools, it's going to shrink just a little bit. Alright, so we filled them to where we like them, and now it's time to get them out. Let's see how some of them don't want to come out. So what we're going to do is turn them upside down and whack the mold until they come out. Silicone spray on the inside of their molds to help the stuff come out really easy. So that would kind of kill the whole purpose of uh, doing it yourself because I can't make silicone spray. Now what you can do is you can rub in these spots down. Then all you do is just get you a pair of scissors and trim these to about a quarter inch and that's all you got to do. So there's some nice little smokeless beeswax votive candles even though they're not near as pretty as some of the ones that you buy commercially I'm quite happy with them so that's all there is
to it. So, until next time, you can always catch us online at www.teamgun.com. I've got a plan Fits my point of view I'm getting